For more than half a century, the man we're about to meet was obsessed with education. In fact, you might know of his work. Professor Harry Messel wrote the famous Blue Book, which became the science bible for high school students in the 60s and 70s. I was both a teacher, a researcher, and an entrepreneur. In four years' time, there will be thousands and thousands of boys and girls in this country who know the law. We had produced Science for High School students, the first integrated course of science anywhere in the world. This was an enormously successful enterprise. So very soon we had the girls doing better at universities than the boys, and so it is today. God bless them. I think education is absolutely fundamental. Well, it's sure funny to think that it was 55 years ago when I first walked into this lecture room and then had the privilege of starting to lecture to some of the most brilliant students to come out of Australia. Well do I remember sitting in the front row two of our very famous students and their main pastime was making paper darts and throwing them at me when, when my back was uh, to them and I was at the lecture board writing, writing down formulas and, and equations and so forth. Per pursuit of excellence. My motto has always been honoring excellence. I feel good when I get to the board again. It just feels great. <laughs> Back at it again. <laughs> and I, I really mean it, you know. <laughs> uh, all knowledge consists of hard work. People think, you know, everything is supposed to be easy to stay. You got to make things easy for the children. Poor kids. How could you make things difficult for them? Poor Johnny, you understand? This is absolute nonsense. You should make things difficult for them and put some fiber up, up, up their back. That was a very tough taskmaster. I still am. My parents were Ukrainian. Their main attitude towards life was the importance of education. Dad and Mom says, well, we don't want you to be like we are right now. We want you to do better. So what I did back in Rivers, Manitoba, I read every book in the library. I'd read three books in one day. So I loved knowledge. I love uh, a challenge. When I arrived in Australia in 1951, electronic computers were just hardly even known. Can you imagine Australia right now without having digital computing? It would be unthinkable. This was one giant room in its day. There's all one space where Celiac, the computer, went. We switched it on. It was one of the most exciting and emotional times of my life because we'd gone through hell and high water to get it. I must say that Australian business was absolutely wonderful. And by the time I left in 87, I'd raised the equivalent of $130 million. For about uh, 35 years, I sacrificed a great deal. My children didn't see me, but when they did see me, we had a marvelous time. I, of course, I used to water ski a, a great deal on the Oxbury water ski for over 45 years and taught dozens of kids there to water ski. I was born fisherman and hunter. I've hunted and fished since I've been age five. One week ago today, I caught 14 brown trout dry fly fishing in Tasmania. The important thing for young people today, whatever you choose, make sure you do your best and work hard at it.